Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam and we are going to continue learning the CloudKit framework. Um, if you have not watched previous screencasts then I highly recommend that you do so because in the previous screencast we were setting up the iCloud, we were setting our record types and all that stuff. So in this particular screencast we're going to look at the assets. Now assets can be anything from photo, media, uh, you know like image file, files, and movie files, and music files, and all that stuff. And uh, you can store that on the iCloud using the CloudKit, or you can retrieve it. So let's go ahead and launch our CloudKit. And our application name is Hello CloudKit. So make sure that you have selected that one here from the drop-down. And here we go, Hello CloudKit. We're going to select the customers and you can see that I've already added an attribute called asset. So let me do that again so you have a much better idea how to add an attribute. Basically, pretty much the same way that we have added the first name and last name, but in this case, instead of have it being a string, it will be an asset type. And now we can save it. All right. Now we're going to go to public data, default zone. And we're just going to assign this particular photo attribute of the Azam's record or this particular record. And you can see that you can drag the file over here or you can choose a file. Now I'm going to select my own picture over here. And here we go. So that's it. Just going to save it. Finalizing, blah, blah, blah. So it's saved. Cool. Um, would have been nice that if you can actually view the photo over here in a thumbnail, but anyway. So now we'll go back to our application. One thing that I've already added is the UI image view for our screen, and that's already hooked up. All right, and in the customer.header file, we have a load photo. Uh, basically a method that will return to you that will take in, basically that will take in a uh, completion handler, okay, a block. And now we need to implement that, okay. So in our view controller code, we are already retrieving the, or we are already limiting uh, our query to return the first name Muhammad. So it's going to return that particular record that we have, which is this one, right? Uh, and it will also return the photo, all right? So that will be contained in the records. So let's go over here. Now we have to load the photo. Now, because you don't want to load the photo on the same thread, right? So you want to do that in the background. So let's go ahead and implement the load photo. So here we go. Now you have to do that in the end. This is pretty much, you know, the the common pattern that you will be, uh, you, you have seen throughout iOS development. So we are going to dispatch this, and we're going to create an UI image, all right? And this will be an image equal to nil. And then we can say CK asset, which will be our photo. And it will be contained in a record, uh, which will be photo because that's the attribute name that we have given, right? So if it has photo, then we will take further steps. We will get the URL photo dot file URL. And then using NS data, we can download that NS data data with contents of the URL, pass in the URL. Once we get the URL, we can simply say image equal to UI image, and then image with data passing in the data. So we get the image. And at the end, we're just going to fire completion handler and uh, pass in the image. Let's go ahead and build this so that everything looks okay. Looks fine. Now we're going to go back to our view controller apart from assigning the first name, last name, blah, 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 what you can do is customer dot customer and then load photo, okay? So here we go, we get the 
URL, and then photo image view, set image, uh, and then path in the photo. And that's it. So let's go ahead and run the application. It will make the call on a separate background thread to basically retrieve. Okay, so let me see one thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now, once again, I have to log in to iCloud. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll go over here. So it's blank, so hold on a second so that I can log into iCloud. All right. All right. It's verifying, so it's actually logging me in to the iCloud right now. And once again, if you want to use the features that are provided uh, in the in the iCloud, or in the if you if you even want to use a uh, Cloud Kit, then you have to log in to iCloud. So let's go ahead and run it again. And here we go. So we get the picture. This is me on a bicycle taking a selfie. Don't really do that. It's kind of dangerous. So there we go. You got the picture now. Okay. Um, one of the things you will notice is that once you load the record, once you're getting the record using basically this code using the CK query, it's going to also get the the photo asset. Now, depending on your application, that can be a very very expensive operation. Okay. Um, so it might be a good idea if you are if you have a lot of images which are you know uh, decent size size then you should always save those images in a separate record or use a different record types and then use the references that we learned in the previous screencast use the references from uh, the images that uh, record types to the appropriate a particular customer record types all right and uh, that way you will basically only fetch those images when once you you know when you want it and that's pretty much it hope you uh, like this screencast happy new year and stay tuned for more thank you